Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how to set up GA4 add to cart event for Shopify website using Google Tag Manager. First of all, we have to enable Shopify data layer. I already made a video on how to enable Shopify data layer. I will drop the video URL on the description box. So we need to check our Shopify data layer using GTM debug mode. Let's go to the GTM container and click on preview button. Put the website URL here and click on connect. So now our website is connected to tag assistant. So we can see the options here. Here is the data layer option. So we need to add to cut a product to check the data layer. So I'm choosing this product. Click on add to cut button. Now we can check our tag assistant. We can see that to cut event is uh, firing properly. So we need to copy this event name from here. Then we need to go to the GTM container. Then we need to add a new trigger. So I'm gonna click new button here. Then we need to choose trigger type as custom event. We need to paste the event name here. Now we need to add a name for the trigger. Like add to cut trigger. Now we need to click on save button. So our trigger has been created. Now we need to create a variables for the e-commerce items. So we need to go to tag assistant again. Then we need to check the data layer again. So it's e-commerce under items. We need to copy this e-commerce. We need to create a user defined variables. I'm going to click on new. Then we need to choose the variable type data layer variable. So now we need to put the data layer name e-commerce dot it's items. We need to rename the variable as DLV e-commerce items then we need to click on save we have to create a new user defined variable for currency so i'm going to click new again then choose the variable type as data layer variable we need to check the data layer from tag assistant we can see currency here just copy currency then we need to put on the data layer variable name as currency same so we need to rename the variable as dlv currency now we need to click save so the currency data layer variable is created now we need to go to the tag section we have to create a new tag for the ga4 event choose a tag type Google Analytics ZA for event. So we need to select the configuration tag from here. Then we need to add a event name for add to cart event. We will put add to cart. Now we need to add events parameter. So for GA4 add to cart event, we have to pass two parameters items and currency. So I'm gonna put items here then currency we need to select the value for this items parameters we need to click on plus icon then we need to choose the e-commerce items variable 
then we need to select the currency variable dlp currency now we need to add a trigger for this event we have to choose the add to cut event from here now we need to add a name for the tag like ga4 add to cart now we can save the tag now we need to check the tag is working or not we need to click on preview button then our website is connecting to the gtm preview mode so we need to click on continue then we need to go to the website and do a add to cut to check the event is working or not so i'm gonna click add to cut button here we can check our tag is working or not we can see add to cut is here if we click here then we can see our tag is fired for ga for add to cut so if we click the ga for add to cut tag then we can see the data is coming or not so you can see all of our data is coming here you can see a currency is working perfectly we can also check our events on ga4 debug mode also so we need to go to the analytics account then we need to uh, go to the admin settings then we need to click on debug view we can see add to cut is working perfectly if we click on this add to cut event then we can see items here here we can see item details we can also check our parameters from here we can see currency is working so our add to cut event is uh, perfectly working thanks for watching the video if you were benefited from the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe